I'm Amanda, I'm a girls' clothes blogger from Sweden. My name is Tilde and I'm also a girls' clothes blogger from Sweden. Online harassment is a real thing worldwide. In 2014, Pure Research Center said that 40% of online users experience harassment and the majority of these are women. So today we chatted with young people about these questions. We had young men read out uh, real tweets from the internet to young women to see their reactions and afterwards we chatted with them about how it felt having to both read and listen to these things and we also asked them what we can do to prevent these things from happening. I think women fake death and rape threats for attention. You deserve a single threat that get. You bitch and mourn that there are not enough women in tech. It's probably because they are fucking stupid. Whoa. You are just like other women who, is, who lie about rape. You are setting the women's movement back with every word that you say. You are a dumb whore and deserve to be beat up. You're such a waste of oxygen. Not a human being. I won't rape you, but there's a pervert who will because of your short skirts. I hope you die in a car crash. What? I'm going to beat you a sock of, quat of squatters. You dare not try it. You are stupid little ugly f ass feminist. Of course, you are still single. Just take a look at yourself. You are dumb shit. I wish I could have sex with you and then run over with my car. Uh, quit being an attend attention whore. No one made you a representative for women. You are a despicable whore. It's a shame your mother didn't abort you. You are a piece of shit. You are a whore. I'm going to bomb your house tonight. That's so impossible. You know nothing and you have no skills. I hope every feminist that has their head severed at their shoulders. You're a stupid bitch. No, I'm not. Kill yourself, you piece of garbage. You shouldn't be allowed to breathe. Shut the fuck up, you families. So this is Amanda from Girls Globe, and I'm here talking to Eddie about her experiences of the online harassment experience. So how did it felt having to listen to all those mean tweets? Wow. It's actually um, a very, very usual stuff for me. Mm, I get that a lot. And usually I always feel very, 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 very bad because people don't get to realize that these things actually happen and that women has to um, be, like, people have to, like, stand up for women and, you know, see, see things about the fact that women are being harassed every day and the fact that women are actually going through violence at home. That's, do that's a domestic violence and all of that. People actually see it as a threat instead of the fact that these things actually really, really happen. And then when you try to stand up for women, people just see you like, oh, you're trying to be a feminist. You're trying not to respect men and all of that. And I, I, I think that was really, 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 really the usual for me. Yeah, it's sad to hear. But what do you think we can do to, like, prevent these things from happening? I always say this, and I'll, I'll say this again. Men and everybody out there who don't believe in feminism should always realize that we are not in the same community we are not in the same so society we are in different societies we are from different backgrounds and you like it or not one person or the other must have suffered you know in in our, our community must have suffered 
one humiliation as a woman, one violence, one um, rape or, or whatsoever. I have a friend who had suffered rape and she suffered rape as young as five by a lesson teacher. And then she told her parents who never believed her. And so for me, I have never suffered rape, but I have friends. And because I, ha I have friends, I, I believe these things happen. And people should realize that. When once you come to that realization, I believe that will help you better. Not to judge any feminists out there for yeah. me. Yeah. So Godfrey, how did it feel like to ha having to read all of those mean tweets? Oh, for me, I just knew that this is the real thing, thing happening in a real world, even if you don't talk about that, it's real. But for me, it was somehow difficult to read. They were so mean and inhuman, like, like you cannot say that uh, to me. So I don't uh, feel like different from women. So I can't, if I don't want to hear those words to me, then I don't want to say those, those words to someone else. Yeah, I yeah. think that's a good thought. But what do you think we can do to prevent these things from happen? Okay, it's a, uh, in my area, like I can give an example, it's uh, deep rooted from the family level and up to the upper levels. So we need to dig deep from the root causes of this issue, like address the issue from the uh, from the family and also the government as well. And also all the police makers should be aware of this and think of the collective way and the effective ways on how to prevent this because it's really happening and it's really bad thing that happening to girls yeah so flores how did it feel like having to listen to all of those mean tweets mm. you you had a reaction i saw it it was yes because i have to react it's have been a long time uh, men how were like insulting us addressing to us like we were war we were prostitutes but seriously speaking we are not and we have to react not tomorrow but we have to react now and we women are really really marginalized like in my country togo most of women are suffering because of this and we young leaders have to do something it's very bad to to hear this word it's very bad to feel like we are not women being and these words are coming from also men and they are women just like us and we need to do something and we need to do it now yeah i agree totally agree that we have to do something but what do you think we can do to prevent it yeah okay as somebody was saying it our body belongs to us and we are the best person to protect our body and if somebody addresses to us on a way we don't like we have to say it right now and we today we have to protect the coming generation we have to make sensibilization sensibilization to them we have to go to the roots of the problem. Why are men behaving like that? Why are they addressing to us like we were war, like we were nothing? And people, some, some even go to say, we don't deserve to breathe. Why? They are not paying for their breathing. They are not paying for the oxygen. Do we need to pay for it? No. Don't we deserve the same treatment as everybody? Why are they mistreating us? So I think we need to make a big sensibilization, not only to those men, but always also to everybody even the young people the children they need to be sensibilized and know what they have to say especially when they are addressing to women because we all have a value and this value we need to protect them That's okay it. so brian how do you feel like during the experiment oh i felt really bad because uh, uh it's so sad that this is still happening i felt really embarrassed because uh you know we as youth still doing this and uh, I think uh, we should engage youth to help uh, fight this war. Because first we need to think of ourselves as uh, sons to our mothers and uh, maybe potential husbands to our wives. Yes, and also brothers to our daughters. Yeah, exactly. But why do you think people write things like that sitting behind their screens? What are they feeling? Uh, they, I think they write uh, like that because they don't have the empowerment, uh, they don't have uh, a knowledge of women's rights, and if we should go an extra mile to uh, carry out sensitization in, uh, for the youth and the perpetrators of uh, this kind of uh, online harassment, we could uh, really do a good job. What did it feel like when you heard those evil tweets? 
For me, I think that I'm very lucky to be born in the family where women are respected, in the country where women are respected. So nothing, including tweets, can hesitate uh, my belief that women are valuable, women are important, and women has power. Of course, it's not comfortable to hear that, but even after hearing this, from reading this, I would never believe that. So it was um, not a big um, and sensitive issue for me. Yeah, because you looked really calm. So what was like going on w in your head when you heard those words? Uh, one after another, I tried to imagine the situation where I can hear it, and it was impossible for me to imagine, because uh, starting from uh, school, university, work, after that, when I was moving to different countries, I have never heard similar things. And now, after living in Hong Kong for one year, I realized that women are respected there, women are in the same position, women are equal, and uh, anyway, even after trying to imagine a situation where I can hear it in real, I couldn't feel myself um, like on that, on that situation. What did you feel like reading those tweets? Uh, as, a, as a male, uh, I felt it was a bit harsh looking at the background of where I'm coming from in Ghana. And I also think that uh, words has influence or effects on people, but it's it's about how the person takes that words and acts on those words. So though, since we are indifferent, we all have different views. So maybe I might respect you, but another person might not respect you based on his or her past experiences. So I think reading these tweets was from people who have gone through a certain experience with certain women mm. or ladies, and are just venting their frustrations on other women that they meet or they come across. That's what I feel. But was it hard, like, saying it out loud to yeah. another woman? Yeah, it was hard, like, saying a whore, saying a slut, saying you're garbage, saying you, 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 uh, you're not even allowed to have a breath. Like, it's so mean, like, uh, at least breath is open for us all. But you seizing someone to breathe, it's like, you've, you've gone to the stream and... The other side is that you don't even see the essence of the person to exist out of hatred mm -hmm. or out of anything. That's what I feel like. Okay, thank you so much.